when I started with Omniverse, I heard a lot of people talk about how powerful layers are, but I really didn't know what they meant. I've learned a lot since then, and I want to share some of what I've learned with you. First, what is a layer? A layer is simply a USD file, and you can bring USD files together to make more complex scenes. So a layer can contain other layers, and each one of those is a USD file. So let's take a little look. Here I have an empty scene. It's called root rootlayer.usd. I've saved it already. Now there's a cool trick in code. I can right click on that and then I can select edit right here. That will open Visual Studio Code with all of the tech with the text version of that layer of that USD file. It's the same thing, right? Um, here you can see it has some cameras to find. It has some settings. It has a world prim. But really, that's about it. It's very simple, which you would expect since it's empty. <laughs> uh, I'll close that. I'll right click on the root layer and say finish editing to kind of close that loop. And that's it. Well, let's go ahead and add another layer um, to the scene. I can go to the Layers tab, right click on the root layer, select Create Sublayer, and it's going to have me create a USD file wherever I want. I'm going to call it Sublayer and save it. I do not want to transfer the contents of the root layer to that sublayer. And let's go ahead and save it. And there it is. It's created a sublayer on my Nucleus server for me. Now I can use that same trick on this one that I used on the root layer. I can right click on it. I can select edit. Let's see. Oh. I can right click on it and I can select edit. That will open it in Visual Studio Code. And here you can see that all this layer consists of is an up axis in the Y direction. Now, let's take a look, well, first finish editing. Now let's take a look at how the root layer has changed. Let's edit it. What you'll notice is somewhere, where is that? There will be a sublayer. Oh, here it is. Here it shows that there's a sublayer. Four places. Where else does it show up? Aha, right here. In this sublayers collection, there it is the sublayer inside the root layer. And that's it. It doesn't have any of those repeated properties from the sublayer. Those are in the sublayer. So it doesn't repeat them. It just references that other layer. And in fact, let's close this. Let's finish this edit. Oh, finish editing. Now let's go ahead and open this scene. Yeah, we'll save our changes. So I've just opened the sublayer by itself. I'm going to create a sphere and move it around a little bit and save it. Now if I right click on this and go to edit, here you can see our sphere. Close this down, finish editing. Now let's go back to that root layer. And as you can see that the sphere shows up. The sphere appears because it's in the sublayer. And in fact, if we look at the root layer, edit, you can see that sublayer, but it doesn't show the sphere. That's because in this sublayer, well, it's referencing the sublayer, right? It doesn't show the actual properties of the sphere because the spheres are in that layer. So there you go. That's how layers and sublayers work.